Lauren finally talks to us about her side of the story. It's been days, girl. Where you been? We heard Steph's perspective. Now it's time to hear from Lauren. Lauren, we got some questions that you need to answer. What's up with this throuple? You know what? I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get straight to the video. Are y'all ready? Let's get it. Not only do we not know anybody out here outside of each other, we also had journey. And I feel like once we had her, I feel like it became more like we focused on her. Now, I will agree with her on the fact that, you know what I'm saying, like, you do need space from your from your partner. Like, it's literally a recipe for disaster if you don't have space from that person. Because it's just like you constantly in each other's space. You know what I'm saying? You going to get irritable. You going to fight. It's smothering. You're suffocating. Shit. But that's every relationship. Don't get me wrong. But like, right? When you nothing new. Not nothing space, new to that. Like, it's more like because you're just irritable. You're not getting that time to yourself to really. You know what I'm saying? Pour into yourself. So it's like, exactly. how can you really be okay with... You have to take the time for self-care. You have to have your own individual time. I don't like that whole thing, you become one bullshit. Now that's toxic if you think two becomes one. You're both individuals. You both grew up in different areas, different upbringings, different households, different schoolings. Everything's different. Y'all are learning about each other. And that learning from each other doesn't stop, neither. It continues up until your dying day. You learn from each other. Keep that in mind. You need your me time. And it's okay to do that. Take care of yourselves first before you can make anyone else happy. Partner, like you're going to get irritable and you're going to have attitudes and you're going to, you know what I'm saying, whatever the case may be. So, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I definitely agree with her on that point. But I don't know. Like for so long it was literally when I, I didn't want let me not say for so long like it was just years on years but so long to me at that time was like a few months you feel me uh <clears throat> not having like you know what i'm saying asking for the bare minimum and it's just like like she say like roommate vibes like you know what i'm saying like so it got to the point where we're just like, okay, like, what are we doing? Might as well just go live separately. Like, we definitely need the space. You know what I'm saying? Just go live separately. Like, and just see? do what the fuck we do. Because clearly, this shit ain't working. And one day, like, I kind of wake up in the middle of the night, and I noticed that she was up on the phone. And then I kind of, like, confronted her about it. And I was like, like, you was on the phone with somebody, blah, blah, blah. And she ends up telling me she was on the phone with a girl. All right, so explain, please. One. I need to hear this one. One. Mm hmm. I was up late most of the time because I was playing Call of Duty with my brother. We used to be in a party like three, four of us running Warzone till like two, three o'clock in the morning. Like, which is fine. Especially That's your me time. Game, like, you know, if you're on a game, like three hours can go by like this. Four hours can go by like this. You know what I'm saying? So, but. <clears throat> but yeah like I mean let me just finish hearing what you gotta say so that kind of like shocked me a little bit cause I was like what the fuck like damn like we literally kind of just decided that we're kind of like broken up and like see this one where we're see. gonna see if things get better if we live separately and we're still clearly living together it's very fresh and y'all already you already talking to somebody and <coughs> all right so let's hear I this told her, like boom i was talking to someone mind you y'all i wasn't talk talk talking to someone okay at this time at this time like just conversation it was casual conversations okay she's saying oh we just broke up bruh even <laughs> between the time where you went to go look at apartments to the time to what she's talking about now where i was on the phone with a girl Bro, that gap has been like a month and a half. So okay. even before we went to go look at these apartments, clearly something had been happening for a good amount of time to even get to this point of you going to look for apartments. So <clears throat> we're talking about months span. You feel me? I'm, we're not talking about days. We're not talking about weeks. 
So while you think this was such a fresh thing, this wasn't really fresh. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit been happening for a long time. And it's like, when people not showing effort towards each other, what happens? Emotions start to just, you know what I'm saying? You start to kind of detach yourself from this person. Okay. From each other. And it happens, yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? It's like, at the end of the day, like, we both were single. But you're living, but you're living in the same house, though. You're living under the same roof. There's a respect thing. Where you guys went wrong was the communication. Y'all decided to break up, okay? It was a mutual breakup. Y'all were growing apart. The effort, the effort has stopped. Feelings have been lost. It's time to move on, right? At least for the moment. But you guys decided to live in the same place and continue co-parenting. Okay, cool. You guys talked about all that, but y'all did not talk about how you guys were going to handle things when one person starts dating, living under the same roof. Lauren, if you, were, if you were ready to move on and start talking to females, cool, do that. But at least have the respect to have these conversations out of the home. Because regardless if feelings are there or not, there's a history and it's uncomfortable. No one wants to hear that shit. No one wants to know that. But because you're living in the same place, she knows something's different. She knows you've been staying up longer and you're on the phone with another woman. So now it's like, now it's, it is a problem. Mind you, Lauren talking to another woman does not mean she was wrong for doing that. She's single, she can do so. Just be respectful. Us working on it or, or, or getting closer back together was dead because then you talking to somebody and I feel like it was also disrespectful. Like we're still living together. Everything's very fresh. Like I still have feelings for you. I don't know if you still have feelings for me. It wasn't even that I didn't have feelings for you, but at the same time, it was like a period of time where it was, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, it was no effort on either part. So it was like, <clears throat> like, I don't know. And like, you didn't show no, before this, you ain't show no anything of caring so obviously i really did not think you would care if i spoke to someone else so basically what lauren is saying is she felt abandoned she felt neglected okay she needed attention she needed affection she needed love she would rather have it from her partner but since she's not giving it she's gonna look for it elsewhere unfortunately unfortunately she didn't take the time to just work on herself lauren i'm sorry girl but you are bad at talking I can tell where the miscommunication happened in this relationship. She's terrible at expressing her feelings and her thoughts. When I watched Steph's video, Steph was very good at speaking. I don't know who may have a listening issue, but I know who has a talking issue, and it's definitely Lauren. You know what I'm saying? Like, how was I supposed to know you was going to have that reaction? You know what I'm saying? There was no, like, effort to want to make it work before that but when i'm having conversations with another female is now you mad now you want to make it work I, <laughs> the sound effects in the background but if you're talking to somebody you might not have no feelings for me so like i just felt very hurt in the moment I felt very really like what the fuck a little betrayed even though we like technically wasn't together i kind of felt betrayed like damn you know how girls are like yo, you get jealous you get like damn like who the fuck is this bitch like you about to replace me like who the fuck you you feel me that's how i felt so i was like very angry so even and i really ain't even trying to sit here and dismiss your feelings but i really don't understand or <laughs> yeah like i really don't understand why it was that type of reaction like you feel me we wasn't together there was time between it like I felt like you really didn't give a fuck. I also think pride and ego got in the way of these two. Lauren seems very surprised and shocked that Steph is reacting in this way. She didn't expect it. And for her to be that surprised, I'm thinking Steph is the one with the pride. Her feelings were probably hurt. And she tried to act like she didn't give a fuck. And because of that, Lauren thinks she doesn't give a fuck. Up until something happens a lot of people do this shit then when something happens okay now the now the feelings show now it's being expressed where was this when i needed it why didn't you show that you cared before why do you why did you have to wait to till it got to this point and these issues are from both partners oh, i really just you know what i'm saying 
we gonna always have two different points of views on this, obviously. Because one, we're two different people on two different ends of what happened. And the way we the way we set up emotionally are different as well. I'm more I'm not Shalant. Steph's more emotional, you know what I'm saying? So it's like well, at least I thought. I, I, <laughs> the crazy thing is, y'all, for the long... Oh, my God. That is the crazy thing. I did not find out how emotional Steph was <laughs> until about a year ago, like, when all of this shit happened. Before, Steph was the most nonchalant person ever. Like, she was... How old is their child? Have you ever thought about the postpartum depression that happens when a person gives birth or when a woman gives birth? That could have also played a part. Nonchalant to me. Like, you feel me? And I get it. Things make you feel certain type. Like, whatever she's saying. Things make you feel some certain type ways, whatever. But I don't know, y'all. Trying to do that. So I, I low-key didn't want to, but I feel like I needed. Oh, but what I was going to say was the freely thing. Like I said, I was single. So it was like, and from my point of view at that time, I should have been free to do anything. She don't get it. Lauren don't get it. Um, so I end up going to Florida, right? And I come back, and I come to find out because I'm an op, yo. Like, I, not, not an op. I'm a, like, freaking investigator, right? So I was like, I found out who she, the girl was that she was talking to, right? I found out who she was talking to. I was in contact with the girl. Well, anyways, come to find out, when I was in Florida... She had the girl here in Texas, in a hotel, whatever. Uh-oh, here's the juicy part, y'all. Again. Let's hear it. I was single. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Her answer to everything is, I was single. People don't think what they want to think, but you got to think about it. It's time between this of what's happening. I'm single, and I get it. You feel me? Like, I ain't even going to be super biased and all of that like i get it we were still living together i get it but like i said do you get it girl you didn't give a fuck before so how was i supposed to know that it was gonna be that type of reaction like you feel me like it's not i don't all i know is she was here so as y'all like i was already like hurt by the situation now this was like the icing on the cake like bruh you had the girl here I'm in Florida, like, kind of, like, sad about the situation. You're here doing shit with the girl. I was so... I was single! <laughs> this girl, I was mad. Like, Hi. I was just seeing red. What don't you get, I'm girl? She was single. Red. So, of course, like, my name, I, get, I got very angry. And the first thing that I wanted to do was up and leave. I, pack, I started packing my stuff. And she's like, what are you doing? Where are you going? And I'm like, me and Journey were going. And like looking back at the situation, like kind of like going, you know, taking Journey away from her, I guess, wasn't like, it's not right. Like taking. Now, uh, now you see that. Now. Well, I'm sorry. That is just something that I can never respect and would be so hard for me to forgive because, you know what I'm saying? One thing I don't play about is my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Understandable. So that to me made me like like take a big step back like you feel me because it was like whoa like <clears throat> something i thought was never gonna happen was like damn what the fuck but you know what i'm saying we all know what ha what happened like you know what i'm saying like i mean now today journey is legally adopted she is legally my child, she's Good. always been my Good. child, but I'm saying like legally. So legally. what happens with the process, because I've also tried to have a child when I was married, um, when doing artificial insemination in a same-sex marriage or same-sex relationship, the person giving birth is an automatic birth parent because the sperm isn't from the partner. The partner has to legally adopt after the baby is born. Then she'll be able to be on the birth certificate and she is legally the baby's parent. So if anything was to happen to where they separate and Seth wants to leave with the baby, Lauren will have rights. She is my child, so like, can't nothing happen. But I'm just saying, at this time, mm -mm. 
Like, I feel like I was completely losing her. So I was just like, I'm out of here. Me and Jenny are out of here. I don't care what you got to say. Like, we're going. So she was kind of like, bug, no, like, just stay. Like, I'm not going to lose my daughter, blah, blah, blah. Like, just stay. Like, I'll stop talking to the girl, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, whatever. I stayed. And then shit was, like, cool for, like, a while. Like, we were just kind of, like, cool on a co-parenting level. Oh, so she takes a trip to the East Coast, right? And I later come to find out that they linked again. So I can only assume what the fuck happened there. Like, I'm not even going to... Explain that one, girl. Mm-hmm. I was single. And you got to understand, after that whole shit with Journey, I'm like, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, at that point, I really didn't give a fuck. Like, you feel me? After the adoption shit, like, I really didn't give a fuck. Because I'm like, damn, like, that's how it, like, you know what I'm saying? That's how it is. <laughs> so... I'm so annoyed. Whatever, like, but like, I can understand. But I would hate to be with a partner like Lauren. Her answer to everything is, I was single. She's not explaining anything else. She's not giving us her thoughts during that time. She's not giving us her feelings during that time, why she was making these decisions. I was single. That's, uh, that would make me want to like, just get her and just shake her like, Give me something. Give me something. Girl, so I don't know. I could never be in a relationship with somebody like her. No, ma'am. All this shit while we was together, you feel me? But at the same time, like, we were single. And now at this point, it's been like six months since this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just more time is going on and on and on. And we still not together. So what am I supposed to do? <laughs> they probably done did it. Who the fuck knows? I'm only gonna assume that obviously if you link with the girl again, y'all finna do something again. So I was kind of just like letting the shit go. So at one point, like we're cool, and she like kind of jokes about like a trouble situation where we talked about like adding a third to our relationship prior to like have a journey and everything, but it just didn't happen. But she kind of jokingly said it, and I started thinking about it. I was like. You know, maybe, like, maybe I'll add some spice to the relationship. So, yeah, I jokingly say something about it. Because at this point, we cool. You feel me? At this point, everything is cool. We co-parenting. Everything is cool. <laughs> you feel me? So, and one thing me and Steph always been was, like, cool. Like, friends. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? You talk about certain things or whatever. So, I jokingly say it. Not expecting her to really agree with it. <laughs> Well, if she wants to be with you, she'll take whatever she can get. And if being with a third person is all it takes for y'all to be together, she'll take it, even if she really doesn't want it. And, but you know that, though. You know you're the only one speaking to somebody. You know Steph is, ain't even on that level right now. You took advantage of the situation. You joked about it, but low-key meant that shit. He did. Let's be realistic. Maybe I like the girl. Maybe like I don't know. Like maybe it'll be cool. So I kind of agreed to it, and I was like, all right, whatever. Let's let's fucking try it. Let's see. So we end up, you know, trying it. The girl comes. I meet her. Blah blah. blah. But I don't know. Like, I just didn't really. Yo, that shit. That shit was. That shit went left. I, that's what I want to know. Okay, so when I was watching Steph's video, she did not give us any juicy details about that meetup. Did y'all did y'all fuck? Okay, that's my direct question. My indirect question is, so how did you guys get together? Did you guys meet up at uh, at your place? Did you guys have a conversation about it? Like, what happened? Lauren, please explain that situation. I really wasn't thinking too much about it. Like, I don't know why at the time mm -hmm. it sounded like, not that it sounded like a good idea, but I would more so say I was on some like, fuck it, we young. Like, let's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. But, it just but now looking not. back, I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I don't even know how to fuck. I don't even know how that, like, I don't even know. <laughs> I know how. <laughs> I'm trying to find the words for this shit, y'all. Girl, you ain't got no words. I really don't know how it happened, though. Like, or how they both agreed or, like, even both wanted to do it. Girl, that's a blessing. Okay, you know how many people want that 
and can't have it because the partner don't want it or the third person don't want it. You were so close <laughs> to having it. What happened? What le what went left? But they did. And I, it was literally a joke. <laughs> You know they so called her bluff, okay? But, yeah, no, no, I should went left. And I low-key felt like, you know, maybe shit was going to get better. Like, it was going to be cool. But, like, it ended up just being the same shit. Like, we still on the same. Just not together. Just co-parenting relationship. Nothing more than that. Like, we've been cool. We've been cool, though. Like, it hasn't really been, like, nothing crazy. But. Is that, is that the end of what? Yeah, yeah and you didn't give yeah, us shit. I just wanted to tell you how. You I gave us nothing. Up. How you, like, <sighs> shit been cool, yeah, but now it's weird. And you you skipped over a lot of shit. <laughs> Are you going to fill up the saying? space? Like, you skipped over a lot of shit. Are you going to fill it nah, up? You, you, you say, it, oh, I link with this person and you want to tell her that but you're not going to tell her the fact that you linked with a nigga Ooh. like why, why do we add that in there Ooh. why do you add that part there's going to be a third video coming out you leave out major parts you feel me but you do too you don't tell them how you link with the nigga how you know what i'm saying like you you know what i'm saying it wasn't all just lauren speaking to this person like you also spoke to someone and with that, they left us with a cliffhanger. There's probably gonna be a third video coming out about Steph talking about that guy. See, videos like these have me wondering if it's real or not. First clue is the fact that they used to do pranks. That's how I know them from. I don't know if they do pranks now because I haven't been following them lately, but if they still do, you know, those pranks are fake. Number two is when they posted these two videos, they're posting them in the same channel. They know that drama will bring in more money. This could very much be fake. This could very much be real. I really don't know my damn self, but I'm expecting to see another video from Steph and I'll be here to react to it because I can and I will. All right, you guys, see y'all next video. Peace.